good morning good morning good morning everyone and welcome back to the channel it is early in the morning why is it 49 degrees okay we were just in the 70s got up to the 80s and it is 49 degrees it is pretty cool so i had to put my sweater on today but i really don't know what i'm going to be doing today i know i have more than enough to do out here but I don't have anything specific written down as far as tasks. So I'm just gonna wing it. I'm in like a bleh mood, you know, I'm in my Bruno Mars mood right now because today I don't feel like doing anything, okay? I know the birds is chirping, they like it's too early, it's too early. But I'm gonna go ahead and get the camera set up. I do not know what I'm gonna do today. I'm just gonna figure out something. It needs to be something simple maybe start some seeds, something easy to where I'm not putting too much manpower into it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, I just want to do something very simple. Me and Fido out here working in the garden today. So we'll see y'all back in just a moment. The sun is starting to come out. I went back in the house to get my seeds and then I started doing a little bit of task and everything. <laughs> I'm sure it's only gonna be out for just a little bit, but I went and got my seeds from the inside. What I want to do, I have so many like older packets of seeds. That's my goal this year is to try to work through some of the seeds that I've had for, you know, two to four to five years. And I wanna go ahead and get those seeds used. So spinach, I know I'm in a hotter zone and people are probably like, oh Lord, she's starting spinach. That's gonna bolt as soon as she plants it. But my plans is 
to put them in my Dollar Tree stackable planters. Be since I can't um, move that planter around, half of it is blocked off, is in the shaded area. So that is what I plan on growing in the back. It's like those leafy greens that cannot tolerate the heat. So you can plant these through April is what it says. We know this Texas weather, this heat down here will will make us a lot make us look crazy now is all that loud music necessary it, it, it that's totally unnecessary you can't even make out what's playing on their radio whatever but forgive forgive my neighborhood y'all okay forgive my neighborhood okay <laughs> but anyways we're gonna get this spinach planted because i've had it for so long and i want to plant the whole pack out for reasons being by the time it has matured fully what is that gonna be um all of april all of may it's gonna take about 60 days it says 45 here but you got to take into account the days that it's going to take to germinate so by the time we harvest i would just want one big harvest of spinach and you know when you cook that spinach down it's just gonna you'll have about a cup <laughs> so let's go ahead and get this planted right quick okay so i did take the time to go ahead and get this soil together. I'm just going to put two seeds per cell. That is it. I mean, I have more than enough. I could probably do three seeds per cell, but we're just gonna do two. It is just a quiet, well, the music just passed by, but it's been a quiet morning so far. As I'm saying that, <laughs> look, some of them are gonna have three because I'm just dropping it on accident. But look, the universe must want three in those cells, so I'm not gonna do anything about that. I mean, it was a quiet morning, and now airplanes, music playing loud. But nonetheless, it's still a beautiful day. So far, it's been a really nice morning. It's just quiet. <clears throat> I would love to know if anyone else in hotter climates, if you guys plan on planting any more leafy green vegetables and how you're planning on keeping them from bolting. I know they have a lot of slow bolt varieties out there but they always bolt where I am so whether it says slow boat or not I mean oh my goodness y'all I still have tons of seeds tons of seeds oh my goodness what am I gonna do with all these spinach seeds I feel like I need to use them all maybe I can do a succession plant I can succession plant but where am I going to have it to grow? So I'm just thinking about the stackable planters. I have, there's three slots on each level and I have 10 on each. So that's 30 and I'm only going to use half of it, the back side to grow the spinach. So that's already 15. I have, this is 40 cells. So I don't need to plant any more spinach. I'm just gonna cover this lightly. I mean, ever so lightly. Ever so lightly.
I love these quiet mornings where it's just you and mother nature. And you can just think, you know, sometimes I sit back here and I think about life, things that I need to get taken care of, work through any problems that I have internally. Just sit back here and be in the garden. It's amazing how something so small <laughs> provides you with all the nutrition that you may need, you know, in a certain area in your body. I still get amazed that we grow food <laughs> from like little bitty seeds, you know what I mean? Like, it's quite amazing. Sometimes I can't tell if it's a seed or if it's a perlite. Okay, and just like that, we have our Bloomsdale Long Standing Spinach planted. So what I need to do is go ahead and <clears throat> create a label for this. Because if I don't trust and believe, that I'm going to forget what's in here. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is the Bloomsdale. I feel like I can't write. Long. Huh, what is today, y'all? What I, I can never remember the date. Like, never remember the date. Um, I feel like it's the 27th. It's either the 27th or the 28th. I don't know. But that's close enough around about that. I do love these containers. Um they were an affordable option when I first started gardening. I just love how it comes with the underwater tray. It comes with 40 cells and it also have the community dome. And I believe I got these like in a five pack for about $20. What I'll do, I'll leave a description below where you can purchase these. Of course, I purchased it on Amazon. A lot of the materials I get, I purchased it on Amazon. So we went ahead and got some spinach planted. Let's go ahead and uh, plant some kale. That's what I would like to do. Let's plant some kale. I've had kale for a while. I don't even know if I have it in this container. Um, I don't even know if I even put kale in this container. I don't think I did. But let me go and grab some kale seeds. That way we can have some kale mixed in there as well. Okay, so now I am going to plant this blue curled kale. Let me go ahead and make the tag now. Now these seeds are much, much smaller than <laughs> the spinach seeds. So the date, I think it's the 27th. And this is the blue curled kale. that in there and we'll have some kale along with the spinach so what I found out in these stackable planters especially the Dollar Tree ones you want to grow a, a crop or vegetable that has a short uh -oh, a shallow excuse me not short but a shallow root system. And majority of your leafy green vegetables have a shallow root system. 
So what I'm gonna do, since these are so small, I am going to just, as I drop them, I'm gonna go ahead and push them down because I don't feel like I'm gonna be able to see them if I don't. Like right now, I have, I barely can see the seed, barely. I'm definitely gonna have to bend these because I really can't, as I drop them, I really can't see the seed. I'm trying my best to figure out where they are. I might have to drop them and then just put some soil on top. That may be the best option. Yeah, that's what I might do. Just go ahead and just put some soil on top and push it on down. And then I'll just thin these out. I mean, they are like really small. Okay. I'm gonna use all these clearly. Okay, we have more than enough. Now let me try to get these back in the bag. Look, I'm just gonna sprinkle the ones in my hand because that was too much. Okay, so I'm just gonna press some down and then I'm gonna put some soil, a little bit of soil on top. This is not the prettiest thing, but that's what we're doing, okay? It's not the prettiest. But this is what's gonna happen today. Uh, There's more than enough seeds that if some of them get pushed over, they'll still germinate. One of them will germinate in the seed. I'm more than confident that that'll happen. I might have everything. I might have missed one or two of them, but hey. Okay, that's that's all this this sale is getting for me. I'm not gonna try to make it perfect. 
or anything. I'm just gonna plant it and as they come up, we will get them transplanted. So I will see these in about two weeks. And this soil is already moist, so I do not have to water. That's the good thing. I don't have to water any of these seeds that I am starting today. Are you really a gardener if you don't have dirty hands? <laughs> right the sun is coming up and ooh, it feels a little good it feels a little good so we were able to get all of these planted this is 40 cells per tray so that's 160 cells that we planted so I'm proud of myself for that this morning I also was playing with bugs this morning pulling worms off of my leafy greens can you believe that like i can't believe i have graduated to another level of gardening okay just put another botch i need one of them patches like them girl scout patches that they get that i can actually pick up a bug now i will not listen to me when i say i will not pick up those hairy ones they say never say never but i will not touch those hairy ones i don't know why I'm afraid of them, <laughs> but the ones that doesn't have the fur on them, I'll, I can now pluck them up. So I've been able to pick up worms. I have also picked up those squash bugs. When I tell you they were out and they were trying to mate and multiply, as I seen them, I picked them up because they are not gonna terrorize my squash this year. But I digress. That is all I'm gonna do. I have to go wash my hands and go clean myself up, eat a couple eggs right quick and get to work. Thank you all so much for joining me on this quiet and lovely morning. I really appreciate it. Thank you for tuning in. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and subscribe because I would love for you to be a part of my journey and also help you on your journey. Throw on one of my videos and start some seeds with me, okay? But that is all for today, guys. Have a good one. Bye.